welcome again to another video on Some Notch War Gamer. My name is Ricardo, this is Jomar, and I'm going to fight him again. Um, I have some new tactics with my guard, and I tried to have a gun line in the GT, and I figured out that um, it wasn't too good because of flexibility and movement, so I put some movement in now. And um, with a previous GT in, in Holland, I had uh, deep strike and mobility and that kind of stuff, so I'm going to use that again. Um, and you will see that in the list. Uh, that's a bit my tactics. The big gun line, bit movement, bit deep strike. That's kind of it. What are you doing with your list? Uh, what I bring? Uh, core. Outbreaks. Uh, Moon Princess. Ball. Oh, let's go. Yeah, some close combat stuff and uh, drakes and nasties, all, all kinds of nasty. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll go over the armies and we'll get back to you. As for my list, I have some proxies because I have not everything painted and uh, constructed yet, but I'm getting there. I have some Cadians. These, uh, these Cadians have two company commanders and one uh, Tempestor Prime with Power Maul because I still can and a Pimp Stick so he can give two orders. Uh, I have five infantry, infantry squads, four with less cannons and one with a plasma gun. I wanted to have five less cannons but points wise it was not doable. And one complete squad of uh, Tempestor Science with four plasmas. As elites, I have an astropath, uh, uh, not a, that's not a Primarch Psyker, that is a Minus Storm Priest, and a command squad for the Scions with, uh, with the Hotshot Volley Guns. As fast attack, three armored sentinels with auto cannons and three squads of mortars. Yo, those are mortars today. I have some Talorns, uh, one uh, Commissar. Yeah, because why not? And one hellhound and two devil dogs. Yeah, I know those are devil dogs. <laughs> then a Ketachan attachment. Uh, by the way, this is the Outrider attachment. This is Brigade and this is the Spearhead attachment. With uh, Primaris Psyker, one Platoon Commander and Harker as elites. And uh, Conscripts, not 29 of them. As a support choices, I have Basilisk, two Hydra platforms, and I just got these in. I need to get them painted, but I already like how they are looking. And two Wyverns with that. And that is all of my list. I hope to pick a punch um, with the Devil Dogs. I have a bit of Melta, I like it. And the last cannons will do a bit of a kick. That's what I have in my uh, uh, Imperial Guard list. Let's go over to the corns. What are you bringing? I'm bringing an outrider detachment of demons with my border to the that one. With a uh, four info for relic and a six so ignore the damage for war fight. Ooh. And a herald. And 29, uh, 28 blood letter, 29 blood letters. 29, oh, D. Full command, so general block, and three growth of five. Nice, sweet puppies. Puppies! <laughs> yeah, puppies! Uh, for then, for Chaos Space Marines, uh, World Heaters with a battalion in HQ and Demon Prince, and Dark Apostle, Fast Attack as Form. Uh, troops, corn circles, two groups with uh, plasma pistol and uh, power pistol on the chair, uh, swords and pistols, and one with sword and pistols normally in rhinos with two times combi water and two feathers. All kinds of nasty. So let's see if the guard can kill those, uh, kill this uh, chaos incursion. Um, yeah, 
uh, I fought this before and sometimes if they get close they will get nasty as hell so I hope I can get I can stand up to them we finished our deployment and we're going to play tactical escalation it was right yeah so um, we uh, both uh, chose the um, 10 um, yeah the objectives with the 10 in it and those are more yeah, victory capturing control those are more victory points and we have the deployment zone which we have the two arrows pointed towards each other as you can see um, yeah he's got it a bit spread out and I just have everything so that there is no hell drake possible except for here but they cannot get here in the first turn uh, yeah we're going for the first turn and we have a roll off and obviously I have uh, no plus one whatsoever so Yalmar has the plus one Ooh. Are you kidding me? Yeah. <laughs> Tie. Okay, here goes. Three and seven. Ah, I want to see six again. Of course not. Of course not. Of course not. He always sees me. <laughs> In the last, I think, eight battles, I have not had first turn whatsoever. Ah, uh, here goes chaos turn one. Uh, just to be sure, uh, if you missed out some units, these are in deep strike. I use these in deep strike with uh, with the Solar and Strategium, the ambush, and um, yeah, those are inside of the rhinos. And you had something in deep strike? Yeah, 29 blood ladders. Oh, your blood ladders, yeah, why not? Um, for tournament purposes, we're always swinging for tournaments. Uh, the bottom half, uh, the bottom half of the buildings are closed so we can shoot through them if you can see this this open part that means that this window is open so you can see through there that's what we're playing oh, he's moving up. oh no what can i do who you really want to go Okay, shooting for Chaos Forces. They are going to fire at the blue squad here in the middle. They want to open up a gap, I think, to get in close combat with these guys. I don't like it. How many hits? Five times? Five hits. No. That guy's firing. I hate the Bill Flamer. Doos. Five times dead. Five times, AP minus two. Yep. Oh, and they do not like it. But there's a commissar, and the commissar says you keep standing. One, two, three, four, and five. Now wait. Um, I need to close the gap a bit. Five. Ah, oh, this one's not good painted. Get a painted one there. Yep. Painted one. Five dead. That's flame again. No, the other one. Two. Oh, only one. Only one. So to make six dead in the first flaming, the first barbecue. Mm, we yeah, that's a blue one. Blue one. Um, blue. Uh, blue one. I know. Ah, uh, no. Pop smoke, pop smoke, pop smoke. I've got that promise. Ah, rhinos popped smoke. And that was a shooting phase, right? Yeah. Whoa. Um, I don't play car. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry for that. <laughs> so first turn, the um, Yalmar scored three victory points, I guess. Yeah, and um, the Eldrakes tried to charge, and they both lo both lost one wounds to conscript. Yeah, conscript. And uh, with my shooting phase, I killed the Rhino and the corners in it, and this uh, Eldrake that was over here. So um, that's a good start, I think. And I think I'm going to be charged. Some kind of yeah, uh, 
that eerie big thingy in my head that says so. And I, yeah, I have this objective. Advance, right, with guard. This guard. I got Master Warp and Secure Objective 4. Ah, uh, yeah, not really doable right now. So I scored one victory point. So it's a uh, 3 2 1 for the Chaos Forces in turn 1. Let's see what I can do. Oh, yeah, and I got first blood, so I got two points. Let's see what the Chaos Forces can do in their turn 2. Turn two for the guard. Um, yeah, as you no. saw. Moral check. Oh, these guys need to do a moral check. Cool. Yep, and uh, some guardsmen here. They were fallen with close combat, and they are going to use two command points. And I am getting one back, so that makes me for fourteen of those. God damn! I need to. I cannot get through them. Okay. So, uh, turn two for the guard. They did absolutely nothing for secure things. They're all over there. Uh, not doable. Um, well, this guy got in and he demolished the corn squad for a large bar part. And then Harker over here did the rest. Uh, these two guys, uh, the devil dogs, got this guy down to three uh, wounds. And the hydras got this guy down to two wounds and will be now three in three in the turn for the for the corn um yeah the corns here were decimated these guys here lost three so that's uh pretty good and a lot of wounds losses and yeah i think it was a pretty good turn no point scored but good turn whatsoever In turn three, it was a slaughterhouse, just to say the least. Um, the corn berserkers charged in. Uh, the bloodletters they charged in. I don't got a picture of them. Why don't they got a picture? I don't know. But there was a shitload of them over here, and they decimated infantry, uh, more infantry. Um, yeah, they decimated just a lot. Two psychers are gone, and. Right now, uh, the the guard in their turn uh, did shoot them all down with uh, with the mortars, uh, and these guys dropped in and they shot down the demon prince and the rest of the bloodletters. Um, yeah. So now we're going into turn four. I didn't score points again, and uh, yeah, I think I'm going to to discard one because I'm way behind the points. How many points he got? Seven, and I got one, two points for first blood also. Seven to two, and we're going into turn four. Hmm, let's see what it brings. The Imperial card turn four is clearing up the field. Everything is gone on this side, except for this Demon Prince, which needs to be killed. There are three doggies over here, and there are some doggies, how much? Four, four doggies over there, so they need to be killed. And I scored one point, and that's it. So I'm at 30 points now. Mm, again, seven, eight. Eight points. So I need to clear him off the board to win the game. So we're going to turn five. Here goes, Chaos turn five. Turn five and six, I scored a lot of objectives and I really needed to turn six uh, to finally win the game. I shut uh, shut off all his uh, hell dogs thingies. Well, what are they called? I don't know. Whatever. Uh, but flesh hounds. But these two and this guy really uh, really did it for me to uh, to win the game. Uh, the rest wasn't able to shoot them down or to get that much firepower power in them. And yeah, uh, turns out turn six was uh, was a winning turn for me. If uh, the uh, battle ended at turn five, I would have had a loss. So, quick recap of the battle. Um, it was a great battle to play and to see what um, uh, Double Dogs and the Hellhound did.
I am um, I'm okay with uh, with the helm, but I'm not so sure about the uh, about the devil dogs. Uh, devil dogs, okay. uh, I think you must run three hounds. Three hounds better to, to outflank than the, the devil dogs. Uh, one of the things that I think is pretty good is the platforms for the hydras. Uh, because it gives a point reduction of 33 per model compared to the Hydra itself, and that is huge. Uh, um, yeah, they cannot move, but if you have a Hydra, you want to move it anyway. So I think that's a, that's a good asset for the for the points cost it has. Uh, yeah, that's a good, good model for points. Yeah. Um, is it that good? Yes, with strength seven everything in the air is strength seven it is okay it's yeah uh, it's better than less gun yeah way way better than less guns and you can get something out of the air just chipping points of uh, breaking it down to the next level it's okay uh, am I sure about this list no not really no, I think if you run three times here no problem true there. It should be fun also. Just play the shit out of the air. Yeah. Throw the chickens. How many hits? Six hits. Okay, I'll take it. Yeah, but then again, strength six. I don't think it will do that much. Uh, I got my demon prince, so this one's four. Yeah, and the demon prince, but yeah. Oh yeah, a lot of fly. Yeah, maybe. Four, not five. I'm thinking about the big flyers here, strength seven. But the, the normal thing is just fly keyword. Oh, that should be okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'll, I'll think about it. Um, yeah, the rest, Scions, they're good. They, I, I have put them in in turn three. Uh, I have to, I've had to keep my patience to, to put them in. My, um, yeah, one of the things I have is turn two, I want to put everything in. Is that the best tactic? Uh, no. You really need to find your gaps, uh, find out where you need to uh, need to uh, give a big punch to your enemy, and that's why I put them in in turn three. Do they uh, bring up their points cost then? No. No. Because all that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> they kill the blood But then again, uh, they did a punch hole in his line, which I really needed. Uh, yeah, clear your line. Yeah, okay, clears my lines. Punch all in your line. Well, whatever. I don't have any lines. Yeah, you had a line of uh, blood letters. No. 29? Sure. Okay, you had a cauliflower uh, formation. Like this. So. I'm hunting for blood. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> no lines. <laughs> um, weapons are doing good. Uh, hydras, okay. There's a list. Yeah. Yeah. It did its thing. I'm not really too convinced. This uh, this list has enter infantry. Uh, this list has a, has a bit of movement, so I need more movement in it. And I need to pack more punch in this list. That, the, those are the things I need. So I'm going to focus on mobility in the next couple of battles, and I'm going to focus on bringing a bit, uh, larger yeah, punch. A rhino is prone to kill them, yes, by problem. I need to kill an average of two rhinos easily with, with guard, but uh, with this list it's not doable. Uh, so I need to uh, rethink about the tactics, about the units I have. Maybe knights? They're coming out. I ordered some, so you'll see them in battle reports in the future. Um, maybe more Lemon Russes. I think I have uh, 12 right now. Maybe I will go for those. I think Rush is T8. Top is A, he's really good. Armor? Yeah. Or, there's a lot to brainstorm about. And uh, not to keep you in this, in this uh, movie uh, or whatever. I want to I want to have you guys keep, keep on watching, but I will uh, get some tactics videos also for unit. In, uh, in the future and um, we'll discuss
discuss everything over there. And um, yeah, I hope you like the like the video report. If you have some tips, tools, or whatever, just spam them in. I want to get uh, if you have seen my GT video, I want to get until onto the top 100 or top 50 players. Bring in those tips. I hope you enjoyed watching. Say everything you want in the comments and put a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. See you guys next time.